Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today I think I saw it on Bailey J's channel that she challenged herself to paint with dollar store art supplies, so I thought I would go ahead and do that. So I went to the Dollar Tree to pick out some art supplies, and they're all just one dollar, and I kind of wanted to not stick with a certain medium. I was, get, I was grabbing all kinds of different mediums. I found some nice brush pins, um, markers, and some paints. And I thought, yeah, this is just going to be a one big mixed media project. And I just really wanted this, so I bought it because it's the dollar store. <laughs> so when I was going in, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to draw when I went into the Dollar Tree. But then I got to thinking, um, I didn't know this, but did you guys know that March 10th is official Mario Day? And I had no idea because if you write out M-A-R-1-0, it looks like Mario. I had absolutely no idea until I jumped onto Facebook and one of the Lulu Row people that I follow for their shops posted a whole outfit that was inspired for Mario and she said well it's Mario day so here's this whole Mario outfit put together and I was like what do you mean it's Mario day I didn't know there was an official Mario day I mean switch was just released a little while ago but it wasn't released on Mario day but I thought there are so many Nintendo things going on right now why not do a Mario inspired piece and go ahead and use these Dollar Tree supplies to make this Mario piece. So I don't know if you guys watched my Crayola marker challenge that I made a little while ago but I had these fine tip Crayola markers and I colored Jacques and Gus Gus and um I didn't really talk about that whole video I think I just did the challenge but uh, when I was coloring with those fine tip markers it was wearing down the paper and the tips on the markers were being worn down a lot too and I was scared to use the fine tip markers to color them in so these brush pens that the dollar store had they were really nice quality they were really 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 cool to work with and they went on smoothly and they didn't bleed too much so I was I was really surprised so I used the fine tip markers to go ahead and like shade around some spots on Mario and I just wanted to like you can tell that it was a bit like clumpy in some spots and it was ripping up the paper just a little bit so I was really happy that I grabbed the brush pins and I grabbed the fine tip markers because I could, then could use them and when it came to the paints I didn't want to use my own paint brushes I wanted to use the paint brushes that came along with the paints because that on its own was a humongous challenge because those little paint brushes are meant for I don't know if you guys ever got those stained glass kits when you were little and you got the stained glass paint and you got those little black brushes and they're, they're basically little squares. They're very, very, really horrible bristles. And just trying to blend with them and pick up a lot of the paint, it was just a little bit difficult. And I found that once the paint was down on the paper, I couldn't exactly layer on top of it. I couldn't layer and it was just, um, it was, it was a challenge. I mean, I could do a whole video just using these paints and it would be its own challenge just because this is meant for children this dollar store paint the paint that I picked out and I thought well this is a little bit more challenging than regular craft acrylic paint and on its own yes it was a super duper challenge and I just I really love the way that this turned out and you just wouldn't think that these art supplies would be so awesome to work with and it's just it really did shock me but the reason why I wanted to use oh, this is one big mixed media project once again but the reason why I wanted to use the paints on the skin and Peach's dress is just because I know I had the huge pack of markers but I just don't I just think that it was going to rip up the whole paper and it wouldn't look as smooth and the paint actually looks extremely smooth and I mean 
I I loved the way that the paint and the markers were mixing well together. Um, the only thing that I was having trouble with was highlighting. So I thought maybe later on, once I let the paint dry, I could come back and layer the white on top of some spots, kind of like how I would use a white gel pen to just to highlight a couple of places. And that paint was just like, mm -mm, not today. You're not gonna do what you like to do. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's probably just because the, the white paint is so, it's just very watery based and it's more watery than it is uh, actual paint, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the chemicals that go into these little itty bitty paints. But overall, this was a really fun challenge to work with. And it's just really, it just comes down to it once again. It's not the art supplies that make beautiful art. It's just the person. It's the artist that makes beautiful art. So if you ever are just like, oh, I don't have nice Prismacolor or Copic markers or anything like this to make beautiful art, you don't need fancy art supplies to make beautiful art. You just need yourself, and that's all there is to it. All you need is a pencil and a couple of pieces of computer paper, but that is all you ever need. I really hope you guys like this video, and I hope you all have a most wonderful weekend. Bye!